Hello there and welcome to another Monday episode of Coding with AL. But today it will be a very minimal episode uh, because we'll just look at isolation modes. I'm a bit on the road, so a uh, little bit of a minimalist video. We'll look at the different uh, isolation modes that we have when we create Docker containers. <music> So the isolation is provided on upper container level by the Docker engine. So using containers, multiple applications can be deployed to a single bare metal server without any conflict between the applications. So multiple applications on the same bare metal and you don't have conflicts between the applications. And then Windows containers on Docker can run in two distinct modes. So Linux, they run on process isolation, but you, when you have Windows containers, you can run in process isolation and Hyper-V isolation. Because Windows containers can run in two distinct modes, you'll need to activate the Hyper-V. So um, this is what we'll have here. Uh, you can use this PowerShell command to activate Hyper-V on your Windows machine. The elevated PowerShell and run this command, you will turn on the Hyper-V. Uh, we looked at it in the previous video. We looked at it. So in the process isolation mode, multiple containers run concurrently and share the same kernel with the host as with each other. This approach is also how Linux containers run and is the more traditional approach. Yes. So we can look at that because you sh the container and the host or the bare metal, they share the same kernel. However, this approach has a downside for Windows containers. The base image operating system that is used within the container should match the operating system of the host. So the host OS and the container um, base image operating system should be the same because the container is an instance of the docker image but the base image since you have downloaded when you download the image you specify the operating system you should they should be the same for it to run in the process isolation so if you have windows uh, maybe server 2019 the base image will have windows server 2019 and the container the same um okay the host operating system on the container the same image so this is the the kernel we see the os here sharing it with the container the same kernel these are the containers in the same kernel and uh let's go to hyper v is it so hyper v isolation mode uses the microsoft uh, Hyper-V to host the containers, uh, the one that we have just activated. This mode offers enhanced security and better compatibility between the host operating system and the container's base image operating system because you have now a, a highly optimized virtual machine that will have its own kernel, but it will now run on top of now the container will run on that, within that optimized virtual machine. So here is the image for the Hyper-V isolation mode. We have the, um, the kernel. Okay, here is now the operating system. We have now the virtual machine. This is the virtualized environment. And then the container runs on top of the highly optimized virtual machine. And finally, um, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Even with Hyper-V, not all, um, not all combinations are valid. So you can, the compatibility will still, you'll still have to check uh, the compatibility under this link, like Windows container version compatibility before you can be sure that this Hyper-V isolation model still works for the image and the host operating system so how you specify which isolation mode you use you use this parameter 
hyphen hyphen isolation and then you can either specify hyper v or process like when you have this uh, isolation uh, process or hyper v docker run and then um, like in the docker command you have that uh, option of isolation process or hyper v hyper v so i think uh, that's it for this short video i will see you in the next video may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one